What you're about to watch is going to be an extremely destructive video. There is going to be some serious railgun gatling gun testing, and this is all because you guys had an idea, sent it in to me, and you wanted me to destroy all the workshop creations with the gatling gun railgun combination hybrid cannon thing. So there's going to be some carnage. So starting up, let's have a look at the Gatling gun railgun. So this is a giant rotary railgun that fires in sequence to keep up a constant rate of fire. Now, this is nothing new. This has actually been on the Steam Workshop for, I believe, over two years. But all tech in space engineers, it goes around in circles and it gets forgotten after a while. So I wouldn't say this is forgotten. I'd just say it's not very popular because it's not functional in a survival sense. And it's not functional in a survival sense for a few reasons. Number one being all these hinges and rotors that are connecting it up. And number two, that none of these railguns are actually connected to a cargo. So you'd have to manually reload each one. But they are easy issues to resolve. But having this weapon on a server would most likely get you banned. So let's get our testing underway. The idea of this video really is to have a look at this weapon and also really kind of have a think about how we could turn this into a practical application with less hinges and less rotors that could make the railgun a lot more viable in a realistic sort of battle. So let's spin this thing up. As we hit one, you can see the railgun starts to fire. Absolute destruction and damage. Let's try and uh, cut a component off. So we'll hold ourselves in place there. We've got a little bit of thrust going on. Let's get our camera into position if we can. Oh, I've lost everything. So you can just see the rapidness of that railgun, how quickly it can cut through different components. So you can see I can wiggle it about here. Let's get a better angle. So the railgun itself is absolutely deadly at cutting through armor. It has no explosive damage, so that's something to consider. But just the volley of railguns, how quickly you can cut through a ship. So if we move ourselves up into this position... We start maneuvering ourselves around. We could cripple this ship very quickly. And the other thing we could do is we could also maneuver if we've got quite a mobile ship. And it does seem quite a stable type weapon. Let's go back up to our top here. Let's attempt to cut one of these engine bays off. So if we just keep our fire focused up along this little rim here, we should have one of these engine cells taken off in no time at all. You can see there's also a little bit of ricochet as that railgun bounces around from different components. It causes even more damage. So there we go. That engine cell is off. So that was a very pretty ship that we destroyed there. We'll shut down that laser and we'll move on to our next target. Now, before we move on, aboard the Star Trek ship, there is a bridge inside here. And this bridge, if we can locate it properly, you can see this is the Star Trek style bridge, is quite well protected on the inside. And we haven't inflicted any damage on it just yet. But this is where these railguns really come in handy. So if we get back into our cockpit and we aim our railgun at the point that we think it's going to be, you can see the rounds are starting to come in. And there we go. We have hit the small grid bridge that is inside and de actually detached it from itself. Absolutely wrecking the thing. So you can see that penetrative power really doing well. Something that we need to optimize with the railgun, our railgun builds, because we see a lot of players when they're using these railguns just wasting shots. They spend too much time trying to uh, sort of aim that singular railgun when they could be firing artillery cannons. But let's move on and try this out on a few other ships, some more realistic ships as well. Okay. This in front of us is the Dead Space Planet Cracker. So let's see if we can crack the Planet Cracker with this railgun. Oh, look at that. Damage going straight in. What's really cool is just seeing how these railguns are ricocheting as well. So if we start to change our angle a little bit here, we'll see more ricochets coming off. Lots of penetration straight through them side protected pieces of armor. Let's see what other damage we can do. We've cut one of them top sections off. It's almost like some sort of plasma cutter in sort of a weird way because you're getting so much fire down on the target at once. So let's just grab ourselves for a second, bring our camera over. Just have a look at what sort of damage we're doing. So we're penetrating straight into these inner spires here. Let's move our camera down ever so slightly. Bring ourselves back. Let's see if we can move the ship down to this lower section. Yeah, it's causing a bit of lag. There's a lot of pieces starting to break off that planet cracker now. We could probably cut one of these external struts off if we wanted to. Look at them ricochets of the railgun as it bounces off different components. It almost looks like the railgun's hitting each other at some points. So let's have a go at cutting one of these uh, struts off. We'll go for this big one. We could do with a camera really on the front of here. Let's try and work our way through this joint. We've just got so many railgun rounds going down at once. This just completely defeats the point of having to recharge them. Let's have a quick close look at it. 
So this is working by, as it passes this point, it detects that lower grid and then activates the two rail guns at once. So there we go, we actually cut it off. Let's just slow our rate of fire down for a second. And there's one of the beams of this ship. Now this would be lethal against an engine bay of some sort of vessel, but I'm still trying to process. This whole video is about me trying to think of an idea of how to better weaponize a railgun. I mean, this is the most overpowered and top version of a railgun that you can get, but we need to think of a way of how to make this railgun a bit more effective. Maybe not make a Gatling gun railgun, but how can we utilize the large or small ship railguns to do more damage to ships? The small one is very capable and it's often overlooked, so we'll do a bit more processing. We'll do a bit more testing. Let's um, try a little bit of a drive-by drift as well. So we'll fire up the railgun. We'll get this rotating and just see what sort of damage we can do. So the important thing that we've got here is that penetration. The penetration of the railgun is just unmatched by any of the other weapons. There's just nothing like it. Loads of damage. And if we hit a hydrogen tank, oh, we've blown off another one of the top pieces of armor. If we penetrate and hit hydrogen tank or cargo, it is game over for a ship in a lot of cases. So a railgun could be effective. We just need a better way of utilizing it. So I've dug a bit further back into the blueprints, and here in front of us we have the HK Carvo, a great combination of a large ship grid and small ship hybrid. But we're going to see how this sort of design stands up. And I know every time I show a hybrid grid like this, you guys go, oh, it won't last 30 seconds. Everything will just disintegrate off it if it ever got into combat and it's purely a functional build. And I do agree with you to some degree. So let's fire up the old railgun and just see how quickly this thing can come apart. We've got incoming rounds absolutely devastating if Aaron doesn't miss every single one of them there we go let's bring that aim up a little bit let's fire into that cockpit area if we can we definitely need some sort of aiming camera here so there we go a few rounds going into the cockpit area completely obliterating the top of the cockpit area let's bring ourselves back on target we'll go for a little bit of a drive by as we lock on see if we can detach some of them angled armored pieces that people are always so determined to say that you can do a bit of shots into the engine bay there oh that looks like that engine bay just snapped off fire into the other side we've got wing tips coming off i wonder if it had a oh there we go we've got that wing tip popping off on the other side some real big damage going on now let's have a quick look yeah we've got the wings popping off on that side as well holes onto the inside yeah ripping it into the med bay these rail guns are absolutely lethal i love them Look at that. So that engine bay has been blocked off the other side. So I think you are right to a degree about ships that have multiple components like this. They're not going to survive in a battle. But what's going to survive against a Gatling railgun? There's not going to be too much. Let's dip ourselves a bit lower down and see if we can get some more rounds into that cockpit area and split it off. There we go. Absolute destruction once again. But this is a glass cannon in this configuration. You would have to hide this within the internals of a ship and you could have a door at the bottom, I guess, like we've seen in other designs. But we need to connect all of these rail guns up for it to actually work. Oh, there is some clang happening over here. I do not like that. Let's move on before something bad happens. Ahead of us is a train that is trying to escape from us. There is a track and there is a locomotive on that track here in front of us. We have ourselves the big Gatlin railgun here and we're going to try and stop this train in its track so let's see what we can do we're going to have to slow it down a little bit here as well gatling railgun is engaging and we're going to chase this train now the number one way of taking out a train is usually taking out the track in front of it so it derails itself so let's see if we can land some shots on that track yeah we've got some shots on the track ahead not quite the damage we want though <laughs> the sim speed is appalling let's see if we can get some shots on the train Okay, the train is maneuvering, out maneuvering our railgun. It's just so hard to aim with such a low sim speed, but this is just like a bucket list thing to try and do. Maybe we could stop it off at a bridge ahead or something. Okay, shots are going in. That is where we want them. A bit lower. Start hitting that track. Come on. Train's going into the site now. Yes, shots on the train. Big hits on the train. Come on, can we get a derail? It's still going. More shots on the train there. Okay, let's cut off our gun for a second. We're going to have to come for another pass. We'll grab our camera as well while we're slowing down. Bring our camera over. It's going to be a bit laggy as we catch things up. We'll see how that train's doing, though. Okay, so we definitely landed a big blow on the front of the train. Not much damage to it, though. It seems to have either gone straight through or something else, so we need to turn this around and keep pursuing this train. Don't let the train get away, CJ. <laughs> yeah, this could be the perfect time. Let's try and line some shots up on the track ahead. Railgun is spinning up. 
Come on, get some shots on that track. Yes, yes, good hits, good hits. We need to aim a little bit further ahead. Okay, no, it's made it across the viaduct. Hits on that train. Let's pull ourselves up so we don't crash. Still doing really well keeping alive that train. Oh, are we going to crash ourselves here? No, we're not. Let's bring ourselves into a bank. Use them under thrusters if we can. Oh, we've got some more rails. I think this one's going to be going straight ahead, though. Let's bring ourselves back around if we can. Let's try and hit that support pillar in the middle there. Come on, Gatling gun. Do your work. Rail gun, come on. Come on. Let's take down this bridge. Let's stop this train right here. So I managed to fly ahead and the train is now approaching the bridge. I've took out this bridge section with the rail gun. It just took a lot of time with the sim speed. So we're going to see the fruits of our labor here. Oh, oh no, the train is going. <laughs> oh, this is, this is horrible, but this is exactly what I needed to see. So as you can see there, that segment of the bridge is completely completely gone and that train does not like that one bit now for our next test we have ourselves a wanderer class exploration ship heading out ahead of us now it is blasting forward and it looks like it's launched itself a little bit of a fighter so we're going to move to intercept it we're going to activate our thruster full we're going to chase it down and remember railguns have an incredible range here so let's set that railgun to fire in and let's see if we can land some shots on the target so we're firing straight at it. Railguns are currently out of range. We need a bit more thrust going on here. Let's close ourselves in. So we are at max thrust there. Let's disable our inertia dampeners. Let's see if we can start landing some shots on target. So railguns are now going in. Missing the target ever so slightly. Let's lock ourselves on with our camera. Oh, oh railgun is totally off target. <laughs> Trying to aim this in third person isn't a good idea. Okay, other weapons are coming in. We are coming in hot from behind as well. Railguns are still going off. Oh, it looks like we might have a collision here on our hands. Oh, goodness gracious. We've lost, we've taken some damage. Let's see if we can intercept this from the front. We'll activate our thrusters, slow down a little bit. Get some more shots on target, penetrating straight through them layers of armor on that really lightweight grid. I think that one was right into the cockpit. Yeah, some right into the cockpit there. Let's see if we can move it a little bit to the left. That little interior Gatling turret is not doing too well. Let's bring ourselves a little bit lower down. So our railgun, our rotary railgun, is damaged at one point. But we're still doing a lot of damage towards the tank. I, I was expecting a bit more damage, but it seems as soon as we start moving, the actual railgun's damage is spread out among the target. That, of course, would be quite logical. Let's bring ourselves down here behind. Our other weapons are doing just as much damage. I hope this is giving you some ideas for how to utilize the railgun a bit better. I, I know a Gatling gun railgun isn't a great utilization. It's actually a bit of a wasteful design. But from this, we can start getting our brains working a little bit. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. The whole cockpit area has been blown off. The glass has come off the back here. Oh, big hit on some sort of hydrogen towards the back there as well. This is exactly what I wanted. Just some tasty destruction. Sometimes I'm experimenting, doing so much testing and playing on the server. I don't have time just to jump in a world like this and smash things apart with some of the powerful weapons. In fact, what I think would be really good is if we dedicate this next week to playing with some of the weapons, playing with some of the AI. Let me know in the comment section of this video below what sort of weapons you would like to see. Let's talk about some of the old weapons that we haven't seen around in years. Let's put them to test. Let's talk about some of the vanilla weapons as well. What's better, an artillery or a railgun let's try and answer some of these questions this week and just have a, a bit of a blast playing around with these weapons in the videos that you're about to see anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next one